She's so cute, look at that. <laughs> Beach time. Today, we are going to go to the beach. Check, check. And try out, see what these beaches look like, the one close to me. I gotta watch out, look at. I don't think she knows what the heck she's doing. We're gonna check it out. I've been wanting to go to the beach for quite some time now. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, we're putting it off. So today, we're gonna try it out. See how the beach is in how Hain feels like. Let's walk this way. Wait, that way. Oh big yeah? Big beach. Big beach? beach. Yeah. Swati Carab. See what it looks like. First, we gotta get me some to drink. Cool looking horse. Good, 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 good. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> My little bit thirsty. So we're gonna give a little something to drink around here. Got some really nice, nice restaurants around here. Alright. That's a 7-Eleven. Once I get out the main road, stop by that 7-Eleven. I get first regular water before anything else. All right. So let's talk about Haohin. Haohin is the city right outside. It's close to Bangkok. It's uh, a beach town. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play toss and wanna hate this, I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play toss and wanna hate this, I'll always show up Yeah, 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 ye
200 kilometers, which is about 124 miles, give or take, south of Bangkok. So it is very popular with tourists, experts. There's a lot of experts that live here, as you can see. Sometimes it seems like you see more experts than locals. Uh, they have great beaches, even though some might say it is not as great as the other beaches in Thailand, like Phuket. Cost of living is way lower when you compare it to Bangkok, or even if you're comparing it to Pattaya and Phuket, obviously. I think Phuket is one of the the priciest places in Thailand. So, a lot of the popular places here in in, uh, in Haohen is the night market, the beaches, the water park. They got really, really nice, cool water parks. If you have little ones, you gotta check out Vina Nava water park which is really really cool so what I'm gonna do now is go to the phone store load up I think I can do it on my phone because last time I was in Bangkok she showed me how to do it on my phone except now it wouldn't even allow me to go in to the app so I'm gonna be doing it on my phone once I get back to my room to my apartment condo and get on hop on hop back on the Wi-Fi so I can get that done. But Haohin is really really nice cool place to live. I mean with the cost of which what you're getting with the cost of living you can beat it honestly. You cannot beat it with what you're getting and if you're thinking about business they still haven't fully recovered from the pandemic or the scandemic they're still haven't fully recovered there's still a lot of like shops empty stores people haven't really really come back but there are a lot of Eastern Europeans like Russians here so uh, look into Haohin if you're looking to move into Thailand and leave in Thailand it might be a great option outside uh, Pattaya. There's definitely way more people in Pattaya or Phuket. Haohin is a great uh, option. Damn, what a haircut. Who gave that kid that haircut? That's brutal. Jesus, who would do that to their child? But, <laughs> all right. Let me get back home here. This really nice cool area that I'm staying at. Walking distance to a lot of stuff. <sighs> Are you? See we over here, Haohin Beach. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> oh, look at it, AMG E300. Sweet ride. Let's see. Look at everything you need for the beach here. Yeah. Your floaties, your swimsuits, flip flops, sunglasses. All that jazz. Uh, remind you, I mean, I mean, if this was Baraka, it'd be so packed, <clears throat> so packed. If it was Baraka, got some nice cheap sunglasses. Oh. Cold beverages. They're probably charging you three times the prices but 
They got a taxi, you know. That's not bad. Fresh coconato. Sorry, car. Let me get a fresh coconut. Mm -hmm. For 25 baht. You don't have that one no more? This one? You don't have? No have? Only have the 60 bath one? I mean, I don't want that much. What else you got? Alright, let me... This is so small. I'll take this one. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? What you got? Chicken? <laughs> oh, okay. Chicken doesn't look that bad. Oh, okay. Ooh, fresh coconuts. Mm. Fresh coconuts. Coconut water. Uh, refresh it. All right, thank you. Oh, that was very refreshing. Yeah, if you now want to get some of this, uh, oh, look at that, 35, that was better deal. <laughs> if I had walked down a little bit more, I would have gotten a better deal. So good. Sometimes you got to pay the pay the pipe up. Look at they roasting corn. How you doing? With corn? Alright, I need to come back. I'll go I'll come back. Remember corns like this in Nigeria. Give me some corn. See what you eat it with. What is this? Butter. Butter, oh okay. And sugar? Sugar. Salt. Salt. Oh okay. A milk. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back. That's a strange combination. In Nigeria, we use uh, coconut, the actual, actual, the actual coconut, you know, to eat the corn. All right, and this ice cream man probably come back and give me some ice cream. Here is the beach. Not as, uh, how you doing, getting sketched? <laughs> Not as uh, crazy as I thought it would be, or crowded. Usually places like this be really crowded, really, really crowded. But this one seems a little bit, look at all the horses. Well, you could ride a horse. Look at all the horses, ooh, look at this. This is nice. Hello, hello. Look at all the horses. <laughs> not yet, not yet. Cool hot, cool hot. Uh, Happy riding. Oh, how much you charge? 400 baht. 400 baht for how long? 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Oh, yeah. nice. Good looking horse. One July. I'll come back. Hello. Oh. Hello. This is a good looking horse. One's right now, good better. Huh? Now, good better, lady. Yeah, now it's better to ride. That's One's a... right, long way, that way. Oh, big yeah? Beach, big beach. Oh, big beach? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a cool looking horse. Good, you, good, you. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> you ride, huh? I'll be back. Let me walk around. Hey, you see me now? You see me? Yeah, I remember you, 16. 
Oh, okay, that's nice. I, I'd rather ride a horse than riding a freaking elephant. That's just my take on it. You get your hair braided here. Oh, nice. How him? Let's talk about how him. <laughs> how him beach. I love the beach, man. I love the beach life. This is how him is definitely on top of my list now. Especially when the beach is unrestricted. You know, you can just come and walk around the beach. Look at everyone walking around. The vendors are not hounding you. I mean, look at they. You know, they ask you, but if you don't want, they not like. It's not like freaking. For instance, it's not like freaking Paso Colombia. Got this fresh drinking water right here, where they just hound you like freaking mosquitoes. I like this. Hold on, let me check. Gotta make sure. Oh, here, as I was saying before, it's a tropical city or town, which is about 200 kilometers, approximately 124 miles uh, of south of Bangkok. So you could get here, it's about four hours drive by bus. Or you could take the train, which is one of the best ways to get here, is to take the train. Uh, it's going to cost you about 800 to 1,000 baht, about two hours. The bus is going to cost you less, about 200 to 400 baht. But it's going to take four hours from Bangkok. If you come in from Pattaya, it's going to take about five hours, 30 uh 30 minutes by bus and when I came it cost me 570 baht from Pattaya because you have to go all the way to Bangkok and then come down so it is a really beautiful town very popular with expats as you can see all around this beach you have more experts than locals here you have more experts than locals here. It's very, very popular and it continues to grow popular. And one of the main reasons is it's very low cost of living. You could live here, uh, have the price you would pay in Bangkok. And Bangkok is already cheap. So Hao Hain is even way cheaper. And it's cheaper than Phuket and cheaper than Pattaya and even Chiang Mai which is all the way up north it's a really beautiful tropical town that you can really relax even at the beach too. today is uh, Saturday which is the day that most people come out here and relax at the beach and it's, it's not as uh, crowded like Barakai I remember when I'm in Barakai, and in Barakai you see mostly Filipino people. And it's, of, of course, with all the other people coming in from South Korea, China. But this place is sit on. I wouldn't mind living here. I definitely, I would not mind living here. This is, this is nice and peaceful. Let's see. And I like the breeze. Oh, oh wow. The water feels incredible. Oh wow. The water feels incredible. Like this. So the flag is red. But people are still I wonder if that's the accurate reading. It's still... It's dope. It's the place to be. Oh, I like the feel of the water. 
it's not chill it's like room temperature it's definitely something uh, <coughs> so how hand is uh, on my list now I like this you can ride horses up and down the beach <laughs> I might have to try but uh, that would, this will be my first time riding a freaking horse so other things to do in Haohane and what other things that Haohane is known for of course I said before it's night markets is uh, uh, I already mentioned the beaches, low cost of living, the water ward place, the Nava ward or something like that, water park, and um, if you want to travel internationally, it's very short distance from Bangkok, you know, you just go to Bangkok and uh, you, you know, you catch that international flight. What is he doing? You can ride jet skis and shit like that. So to ride a horse for about 20 minutes, 400 baht. 400 baht uh, I wonder how much it is to ride a jet ski uh, I'll do one of those over there with the kite kite surfing and another thing it's known for is it has mountains so if you are a hiker someone that likes hiking Haohen has mountains if you are someone that likes camping Haohen has those as well and over at uh, Market Village you could get a lot of camping stuff from there the Market Village Mall you get a lot of stuff right there for hiking. It is true and marvelous, marvelous beach. I mean, it's not white sand. It's not white sand like like Barakai or the Caribbean. But it's a beautiful beach, man. It's truly a beautiful beach. You can relax in peace. You don't have to worry about someone robbing you. Or the constant vendors. So, what else needs to do in Haohen? Nightlife is good. I'm going to be checking out the nightlife. I want to make sure I don't get water in my camera. They have a good, good, really good nightlife here. You can compare it to, it's not comparable to what you will be getting in Bangkok or even Pattaya or Phuket. But it's still a great, great nightlife that you're going to enjoy yourself. Yeah? And you could go on a boat ride like over there look at this this beach is really incredible peaceful relaxing to walk around i need to take my shoes off so i can feel the sand sand of the beach on my feet so you see it's different when you your feet can freaking touch, yeah, but touch the sand right there. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We are here. We are here today. Check out the wave. That's just the wave. Waves don't die. Let me crash it on it for I don't need it on me, no lie. Waves don't die, baby. Let me crash you for a moment. Sun don't shine in the way. Woo! Waves don't die. I mean, oh man. I don't need to own it, no lie. Waves don't die, baby. Oh. Yeah, I need to come back so I can swim. Get me, grab me a towel. You see, you could, this is the kind of place you want to catch the sunrise, sunset. Find out how much one of these condos go for a month. So right now, one for what, like over there. Hello. <laughs> Ran out of condo over there would be nice. So every time I every morning when you wake up, you're looking at all of this. All of this. Huh? So you wake up in the morning, imagine that. Just imagine it. When you wake up in the morning. You're looking at all of this. And you're not paying a fortune. Very affordable. I'm definitely gonna check out those condos. Wake up in the morning, open up your window. Sometimes even from your bed. And you're looking at all of this. Open the window, you could hear the waves crashing. Just hear the waves. So that's just crashing. Yeah, man, that's the beach of life. Life is a beach. Play in the sand. Yeah, man. If you're a beach lover like me, you can beat this. You can beat this for the beach lovers. How hand is your place? Because what Baraka, Baraka, the beaches are beautiful and all that stuff. But you pay them the American prices. Because I stayed in Baraka for about three weeks. About it, yeah. About two to three weeks. And you pay near American prices over there. And you see enjoying it and it's crowded. It is crowded. <coughs> I mean, right now it's not as crowded in Baraka because of uh, the Chinese economy is having some problems so the tourists from China are not entering even as uh, the Thai government is doing everything possible to entice them to come in including giving them visa free entry and uh, then you have the Korean economy is not doing as great as well, so you don't have too much influx of people from other Asian countries coming in. But Baraka is still crowded. But here, look at this. And this is Saturday. You come in here during the weekdays. It's even more, not so much crowd here. Yeah. And just walk, walk around the beach. It's 
to yourself. And one thing that I like is not just that you have a beautiful beach, that it's not as crowded, it is that you are very close to great amenities. There's Bangkok Hospital right down the street, which is ranked among one of the best hospitals in the world, Bangkok Hospital. So if you have a medical condition that requires you to stay close to medical facilities, Hao Hain is uh, probably a place that you might want to consider. Of course, do your own research. So it is good close to a lot of great shopping so great amenities it is close to if you want to uh yeah i gotta watch out man because some of these people make sure someone don't run run me over with a horse because some of these people they don't know what they're doing they just pay the 400 baht and hop on a horse so they don't fucking <laughs> Rome you fucking a horse. <laughs> oh man, that would be a funny story to tell. Some Asian girl ran you over with a horse. Oh man, I could walk for miles and miles and miles. Alright, I need to find a place to eat. Eat out here. I wonder how much he's gonna. They're gonna, of course, they're gonna tax me because it's right at the beach. But it's okay. You pay for the experience. We are in the experience economy. So it's more about the experience. Look at that. <laughs> So even in Baraka, you're not as close to great amenities as you will in Hao Hain. Plus the internet is... Woo, the internet over there, of course in the Philippines, is not the best. Then you out on top of that, Baraka is some island removed from their mainland. So got to take that into account all right let me as I continue to walk here I mean look at this it goes on I got a lighthouse over there and it goes on for miles and miles and miles look at that huh you can't beat this that would be a great place to leave. Those results over there. I was gonna rent one of those places. But she didn't offer Wi-Fi. I'm like, I don't know. Some people just don't have no business acumen. <coughs> I asked her. You know, I told her, like, hey, I work remotely and I need Wi-Fi. Is there a way for you to provide Wi-Fi or what are my options? She said, she they don't offer Wi-Fi and, uh, and she only uses her phone when she's there. And when I looked at her calendar, her calendar is empty. Only if she offers Wi-Fi, that thing will be full. Because she's a right at a prime location. But, you know, I can't argue with people on how they run their business. But it's not my business. I mind my business. But, if she at Wi-Fi, she can raise the price to compensate for how, how, however much she's paying for Wi-Fi and she will be making double that price but she's running the way she wants to run it 
How are you? Yeah, it's truly a beautiful place to be. And I'm loving it. And this is a place for whether you're a couple or a single person. It's a place for you to be, man. Relax and enjoy. And they keep it clean, you know? They keep it nice and clean. They got a lot of horses. Got a lot of freaking horses. Out here. Uh, you could probably get a lounge over there. Alright, let me go uh, over there and see if I can get a food to eat. All right, I got that looks like fun. I could do that. Huh? That looks like fun. The kite. Kite surfing. Wanna do a little bit of kite surfing? <laughs> I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> Look at that. I can jump on one of them kites. Yeah, that looks like a lot of great fun. I think uh, they have to teach you how to do it though. You can just grab it. Grab and go. I gotta watch out. Look here. I don't think she knows what the heck she's doing. To run you over with a goddamn horse. <laughs> and tell you sorry. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Feels good. Yeah, those these condos. I truly want to learn. See if I can go over and talk to the people at one of those condos. They see how much they go for a month. Monthly. for a one bedroom condo so I can live my dream living in a place like that facing facing the waters wake up in the morning and looking at the beach When I'm done walking, come out here at the beach and relax. It is definitely, it is something to inspire to, you know? Something you definitely, let me take my flip flops off. It is something that I, I aspire to. If you stay over there, man, man, even when you're not here, the sweet spot would be to get one. This is me, right? Get a place. When I'm not here, I can rent it out. Have a closet, lock off to all my personal belongings. And I just use it. 
whenever I'm back and when I'm not there other people can make use of it and not only is it paying for itself I get to make a little bit extra 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 and this is the Thai people swimming they always stay together look at them all of them clustered in one place whereas everyone else tends to spread apart back in Nigeria that's how we actually swim <laughs> everyone together uh, let me see if I can go through here and check out his thunder and I like the way they look at it even with the retaining wall uh, they say sometimes the current rises to the point that like he's touching that retaining wall in high tide season so high tide season you probably all you're doing is just staring at the water but this is like low tide so you can get to you get to enjoy the beach mm -hmm. yeah that looks like a private villa that's nice that's a sweet spot a sweet spot to have huh that's the sweet spot I like that over there actually I like that better I like the the balcony or the veranda better it's like it comes around got all those kites I can leave here learn how to kite off paddle board you know <laughs> all right let me see if I can go in from here ooh this is so cool could just sit in here oh yeah this is so cool like Look at them. They are quick too. Look at one. This one right here. Yeah. Quick, quick, quick. Look at it. This one right here. Get out of there, hole. It's a little crowd. It's all over the place. <laughs> nice. Alright, I try to go in. Uh, the security is telling me there's no um, no office, no condominium office over there. So I wonder how how do you get a room? I mean, not a how do you get a condo? If they don't have an office, never heard of a condominium without an office. But that's what he said. So let's see. That's another one on the other side. I bet you it's very hard to get a, even a, get a condo. It's something that you really have to do your research on. And find someone that can connect you to someone that knows someone that you can get you a condo. Cause that's the as prime location as it gets but I'm determined to get one how hen is now on top of my list why because it has a beautiful beach and it has other things to do I can always go to the beach and relax that is my rejuvenating spot all right, let me get a place to eat out here. Cross over, go to the market. That's that's why I'm definitely gonna wanna leave. If I wanna leave in Hao Hing, 
stay around this place. Because the beach is right there. And there's a great mall with great food just right across the street. And as always, it's packed full of massage places. Every single one of them. I have great massage places. So I'm gonna get on top of here and cross over. That's the bus stop. Let's cross over here. And get a place to eat. Oh, it has an elevator. But get a little bit of exercise. <laughs> hello, hello, sweaty grab. Alright. Mm. Nice pause. See, that's the beach right over there. And you got a beautiful mall right here. And very close by, on the other side, you have more market like the night market oh I could go down here so go down here and eat what he got. If he can get that, why can't it be you? Hmm? Why can't you get yourself one like that? <laughs> it's that easy in Thailand. It is that easy. But make no mistake, that money better be right. Oh, she gonna be gone. Thai women ain't that loyal. It's not that money. All right, let me find a place to be. Oh, this looks good. I want a full meal. I might have to go in. Yeah, I think I might have to go into the mall. Hello, hello. Mm. All right, so I was saying, you want to get with a, a beautiful Thai woman? And I love Thai women, but you better make sure that your that your money's that your money is strong. You know, if your money ain't that strong, I suggest you. Oh, look at that! <laughs> How does it feel? Good. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, look at that! I was skeptical of trying it out. <laughs> but I got my toe already done. <laughs> but, uh, hello. You could get your beautiful Thai woman and make sure your money is strong. If it's not strong, head to the Philippines. To the Filipinas. Filipinas. We stick by you. Like a dog. Um, for the most part, even when your money runs a little bit low, Thai women, 
she was slivered out the back door like a meow cat and I love Thai women I like this this it's nice quality for four thousand Let's find a food court. Let's see what you got. <laughs> Something cool. Oh, this looks too big. I like good sunglasses. Let's see what she got. She got, she got, she got. Maybe this guy. Let's see what it looks like. Woo, where's the mirror? <laughs> Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. 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 Handsome, no handsome. Handsome, no handsome. You know speak? You know speak I know buy. Hmm. Look at that. <laughs> look at me. I think I look cool on this. But this would be good for like suit. No, no, no. Oh, this is like uh you could take it off. Oh, I want like a single lens. Single lens. Ray Ban, something you could wear with a nice suit. With a nice suit on. I don't have, I don't have any. Oh, thank you. Kampung crab. Uh, let me go find a good place to eat. Oh, this place has a nice air conditioner. So this is the mall I was talking about. They got everything you need. Finish jail. Go return the card so I can get the rest of my money back. And then check out the night market. So, the food court. Hello. That's why they cry. All right. So whatever I don't use, uh, I needed some pastries, but I'm kind of too full right now. Grab? All right, let's go to Night Market. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let's check out Night Market, see what they got over there. Check out. Uh, got some knockoffs here. Sweaty crime. Oh, I like this. 
like me some toy vehicle, toy cars. Look at that. Healthy green city. The freaking M16. Mantel on the back of the Jeep. Look at that GT. Nice. Nice. Can I see that? Yeah. That American classic. Ooh, it's heavy too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes. An American classic. Look at that. <laughs> With the nitro on the passenger side. How much is this one? How much? Eight hundred and ninety baht. Too much money. How? What's your best price? Your best price. Can I see the McLaren? Uh, the steering doesn't turn. That would be nice. If they made the steering turn. So you could put battery on it. It's nice. Oh, it doesn't open up. Thank you. All right, my friend. Thank you. All right, let's go ahead and see what else. See here. It's like egg and cheese. I'm too full. I am way too full. They got a night market. This song. So I can see better. Can Not too much at the night market. Everything is still just opening up. You get you a cocktail. <clears throat> oh, for 40 bat. That's some sweet orange. Uh, like orange juice. Ma to come back. That's a sweet as sweet as orange juice. You know, you know, you get one. One for forty baht. Thank you. Some fresh sweet orange juice.
Oh, more like the coconut that I drank earlier. Mm. Oh, sweet orange juice. Freshly squeezed. Orange juice. She's so cute, look at that. <laughs> That's the kind of Thai girls that I talk to. I like passion fruit. So I'm gonna come back for that one later. What is this? What's that a recipe? Mm. We have to come back to it later. All right, let me roam around before I go to Walking Street. Why does it not look like Some glow. Alright. Alright, let me go home so I can go to my go to uh walking street later. Oh uh, let me get a foot massage actually. Get a one hour foot massage. Oh. Some good at restaurants around here. Find me a good massage place. Get a foot massage. Some good ass snacks. Oh. Oh, Alright. I'm so full. Watch your money. Right here. Money goes so fast. Because it's highly touristy. And you know Thai people love charging those for round prices. Get a food massage here. Hello. Oh, Seems like they're already. Let me try this, please. Yeah, foot massage. <laughs> uh, let me. Oh, I want to sit out here. <laughs> Thank you. I want to throw this away. Good, I'm good. Very good. How are you? <laughs> I was here last time. Got a back. Got a Thai massage for one hour. I mean, for two hours. And that was incredible. So this time we're gonna do one hour foot massage. This is gonna be my masseuse. You don't have a lady. Already, huh? Yeah. Okay. For me, I don't like a man rubbing on my feet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 that's better. <laughs> Swear to God. One hour. Yes.
ลับเลยใช่ไหมแมวมิเตอร์มาด้วยด้วยนะคะมิเตอร์ไหนอะไม่มีมิเตอร์ไหนเลยพี่ค่ะแม่บ้านกับลูกยาวเนี่ยขอขับรถกับแม่เพื่อเราคอยแม่เอาของมาด้วยด้วยลูกชายก็ไปบอกเขาแล้วลูกชายก็ไปมาเราเขาก็ไปกับเขาเยอะเขาชอบผู้เรียนเนี่ยไปไหนน่ะIf you like that video and you want to watch others like it, click right here. To understand the tenets of this channel, click right here. This channel is viewer supported. Consider donating. Leave your new dream.